One of the coolest things you can do underneath your car or truck is TIG weld a custom stainless steel exhaust system. The trouble is, stainless is kind of a difficult material to work with, and it has to do with its chemical makeup. Stainless steel contains higher amounts of carbon and chromium than mild steel does. That's what gives it its shiny appearance and its corrosion resistance. The trouble is, whenever you heat this metal up to weld it, the carbon and chromium want to rise to the surface of the molten puddle. When that happens, the elements will react with the oxygen in the atmosphere, oxidize, and contaminate your wells. To show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to run a couple passes with the machine set up improperly, and then you can see what I mean. The machine is set to weld DC because that's what stainless requires, but I'll set the heat range much higher than what's needed. I'll then run a few passes on the pipe, intentionally pumping in a lot of heat and moving slowly. I'll make a couple of beads about a few inches long. Now that pass was much too hot for this thickness of material, but it really illustrates the point that we're getting at. This dark gray nasty stuff is called carbide precipitation, and it's the last thing that you want to see when you're welding stainless steel. It makes for a very brittle and weak weld spot. Now, the two main causes are excessive heat and not enough shielding gas, so I'll start by correcting the heat. A good rule of thumb is to use one amp of current for every thousandths of material thickness. The pipe is 65 thousandths thick, so I'll set the machine to 65 amps. I'll run a few more passes and try to move just a little bit quicker so the material doesn't spend so much time being hot. We can already see a huge improvement in the weld quality just by having the appropriate amount of heat for the thickness of material. There is much, much less gray oxidation and even towards the top where I stop, there's a nice kind of gold purpley color going on. But we can still do better, we just have to adjust our gas coverage. I'm swapping out the stock number 7 cup to a larger number 12 gas lens. This will give us a larger shielding area, direct the argon smoothly onto the weld, and keep the hot molten steel protected longer. We do have to turn up the shielding gas flow, but I'm keeping all the rest of the settings the same. You can see when the gas stops flowing, there's a nice color change. At the end of the day, it's really not that hard to weld stainless steel. You just have to practice proper heat input and have excellent gas coverage. So sit down at the welding bench and do a lot of practicing.